welcome to my new video this is going to be a dread rester guide in pvp for patch 5.2 uh, i have been done other dread rester guides before but i want to do a new one in for patch 5.2 because they changed some cooldowns uh, the specs is more harder to you know choose so yeah i want to do a new guide for patch 5.2 so I'll be talking about the talents, the gloops, reforging, gems, enchants, and the cooldowns that you have as a rest of druid. Uh, I will split the guide into two parts. The part one will be with talents and gloops. The other part will be enchants, reforging, gems, and the cooldown phase. Because I don't want to have a video like one hour long when I talk about everything it would be pretty boring to sit there for one hour and watch so that's why I will split it into parts to make the video shorter and that so let's begin with the talents in level 15 you have a choose between Fenai Swiftness which increases the movement speed by 15% you have Displacer Beast which, which teleports you forward for 20 yards it activates chat form and it increases the movement speed by 50% for 4 seconds the third talent here is Wild Charge. Basically, in Arresto, this is like a heroic leap, as a warrior have. You will leap forward. Uh, I can show this. Let's see here. Drag it out. Take this card. Boom. Could be pretty good. Friendly targets. Uh, maybe you have... Uh, a friend that you need to heal you know just charge to him and yeah however I think that this Placer Beast is more effectful and it gets you out of trouble with melee and you know emergencies uh, for an example if you are silenced you can't do nothing however you can use this and this will give you the chance to get away from the damage maybe you teleport behind something that they can't damage you and then they have used it the silence for nothing so the spacer beast is my recommendation and I think everyone has it because it's overpowered it's like a mage blink it's very good final swiftness is more for PvE I think could be useful in PvP as well but it does not beat the spacer beast wild charge should be useful, but once again, I don't think it beats the Placer Beast. So, on level 15, I would recommend this Placer Beast. Let's go forward to level 30. We have Nature Swiftness. It gives you the advantage to cast and spell instant, like Healing Touch, Rebirth, Cyclone, Roots, Rebirth. If you use that in PvP. This Renewal instantly heals Dread for 30% of the maximum health and Seration Reward if you cast this on yourself or a friendly target the target will be healing for 34,000 every 2 seconds for f 6 seconds pretty good and it will gain the healing effect however Nature Swiftness is the best I think because if you click on it and you click on Healing Touch you will do six heals. I call this like the minion version of Lay on Hand. Uh, and Nature Swiftness is much better than this renewal because this heals 30% of your health and it has two minutes cooldown. So that means that you can use Nature Swiftness two times. You will do more than 30% healing, I promise you. You can even do 100% healing with this from low health to full health if you have the lucky. It's like a lay on hand. So this will do much more healing than the, this renewal. Uh, this serration ward, I haven't really been trying it. I will be trying it. Uh, however, nature swiftness is the best here, I think. No doubt about that. So we go to level 45. We see that we have fair swarm. It's an improvement version of fair fire, which reduces the enemy's movement speed by 50% for 15 seconds. It replaces fair fire. It's okay if you want to slow people, or help your friends slow people, it's very good, no doubt about that. I've chosen Mass Entanglement, why? Because 
it has 30 seconds cooldown, but it's like an A route. It roots up to five people, and it's very effective against melee players. So let's say I have a warrior road on me, or feral. I root them, and they will be rooted. They don't have any spell, so probably the only way for that would be to trink it. And would they do it? I don't think so. So this will help you a lot against melee players. Sadly, it ain't working on Paladin because they can just dispel themselves and yeah, gone. Another talent that's very good that I will shift. You know, I shift between talents. It depends on the fight and then it, de it depends on the battleground and all that. Is Typhoon. It has a 30 second cooldown. You knock the enemy and you daze them for 6 seconds. So this is very useful. Uh, you probably seen in battlegrounds uh, rest of the st standing in the middle of iron storm shooting down people and they die and all that or from mountains or from bridges it's very annoying and it's very good talent so it stands between mass entanglement and typhoon it's up to you to choose for me it depends on the fight we go to level 60 we have solo the forest in resto you will gain 75 percent haste when it costs swiftment Swiftman has a 13 second cooldown and once you cast one spell the haste will be gone so I don't think that it's very useful I go with Increation and I think that every single read go with this it would be very rare if the read w wouldn't go for this at least to my opinion we have the force of nature which will summon and trend that will heal Nerby Alice for 10k a little bit more maybe every three seconds it's cool it has very low cooldown but it still do not beat in creation so definitely choose this in creation in level 60 let's go forward to level 75 we have disorienting roar it's like a fair blind very fateful uh, it has 30 second cooldown uh, like I said before, I like to shift my talents, so I use the shift between this or Mighty Bash. This is a stun, but it has 20 seconds more cooldown. So that's why I'm now rolling on this Rentin War. You have the Urshel of Vortex. It has one minute cooldown. It simply, when you place it, the enemy will be the enemy will be dragged back to the position when you place it, which is good. And if you root them in the same time, they will be standing there. So it's even better. However, I should use Disorienting Roar two times before this cooldown is out. So that's why I have this, and I usually switch to Mighty Bash. I think this is talent is more effective for boomers or you know other specs. But as a rest to, I will go for Disorienting Roar or Mighty Bash. So let's go to the last phase of the talents, level 19. We have Nature Vigil, we have Dream of Senoros, and we have Heart of the Wild. Heart of the Wild is a very good talent if you don't want to help your friend do damage. Let's say in 2 versus 2 in the arena, you do 6 damage, you want to help your friend kill a healer maybe. If you pop this, and you go cat for example, if you have 5 combo points and you use Furious Bite, you can one shot them. I have created like 300k with that, while that Heart of the Wild is active, it's insane. It lasts for 45 seconds. Think about the damage you can do. The healer will go down if your friend also pop his cooldowns. The healer will go down. No chance that he will stand that damage. It will be very hard for him. You can also have this as a balance. You know, you want to use this uh, Moonfire or Wrath. You crit like hell still. It's very good damage. So if you want to help your friend with the damage, if you see a healer in arena, go with Heart of the Wild, it's a very good talent. This Dream of Senros, I don't really think this is more for a healing capacity, because I don't like this talent. Uh, I think it's more for damage, boomer damage or something. Uh, I don't think many Druid have this. At the moment I have Nature Vigil, but like I said before, I shift talents, I go Heart of the Wild or Native Vigil. Nature Vigil will increase the damage and healing by 10% for 30 seconds. It's very good. In patch 5.1, this talent had 3 minute cooldown and it did 
20% increase the damage and healing. So what they have done is they have cut it with 50%. It's still the same. It's still the same. It's just that they change the cooldown and they change the increasing damage and heals. So it's still the same. Uh, it's a very good talent. Buff your healing and or damage. So it stands between Nature Vigil or Heart of the Wild. For me, it depends on the fight. So this is my talents and this is my talents that I roll with. And I think that a lot of roids use this talents. There's no doubt about that. So let's go to the lip phase. I have the lip of blooming, which increases the bloom of your life bloom when it expires. It creates more. Let's take it up there. I have the lip of the regroof. It increases the crit loss chance of your regroof by 40%. It's very good. You crit much harder. And it's very effective. For defensive, I have chosen Lip of Barstin. Reduces the chance that you will be critically hit by 25% while Barstin is active. Very good. More defense, stronger defense. Good. This is pretty much the basic clips for rest of the Druid in PvP. Uh, I don't think that there is other talents that could be very helpful. Uh, if you have problem with melee do going closer to you, I think you can choose Nature Rasp. It reduces the cold number from 1 minute to 30 seconds. Could be good. Or this Might Averse Search increases the cold number by 2 minutes, but also increases the health from you from it. However, I would recommend to go with Bardstein, Blooming, and Redroof. That's, that's the best loop that you can have, at least in my opinion, and yeah. So, this is my lips, and this is my talents. I think they're very good. And if you're having a hard time to, you know, choose the talents, I think that I hope that this talents and this lip guide is helpful for you. So yeah, I see you in the next part when I will be talking about lips. No, oh, shit, sorry. Gems, reforging, uh, the cooldown, effective cooldowns, and the ancient phase. So I hope you, I see you there, and I hope that you enjoy this explanation of talents and loops, and I hope it's helpful for you. So I see you in part two.